The creditors list is simply a list of all the balances as we find them in the creditors ledger. And then we simply add up all of the amounts for each of those creditors to get the total. And this total must balance with what is in the creditors control account. So the purpose of the creditors list is to determine if any errors were made. It's an internal control tool because as we mentioned previously, when we have a transaction with a creditor, then it will be posted to that individual creditors account in the creditors ledger as well as the creditors control account in the general ledger so that is why they need to balance the creditors control account and the list of creditors if they don't we made an error on one or both sides in terms of the creditors control account and the creditors ledger so we will have to systematically track and find that error and correct it.